Hey guys, and welcome back to EQ Planes, and today I'll be unboxing the brand new Aeroflyer 737600 from NG Models. Now, I ordered a large portion of NG Models along with the Gemini Jet Center Pre Diecast Custom. However, I'm going to try unboxing them all in separate videos instead of one big video. Uh, let me know what you think of that format in the comments, but yeah, I'd like to do that just so I can get into more detail on the models and I think it'll be nicer in different videos rather than one big one. Without further ado, let's take a closer look at the box for this NG Model 737-600. Now, I'm glad they did this over the WestJet one, as I already do have a WestJet 737-600 from NG Models. Now you can see you have the de same design that they have on the tail of the aircraft on the box. You can see what looks to be some A340s or CRJs. Now I did request this model from NG Models and they said they had added it to their list uh, about a month before they released it. so. Definitely glad they did this. This is uh, Kelowna Freight's new charter airline. But yeah, now let's open up this uh, box. So you just, oops. Go. Okay. And yeah, now let's take a closer look at the model. So now let's take a closer look at the Aeroflyer 737-600, starting out with at the nose here. You'll notice it has this raccoon mask. Now the raccoon mask actually doesn't go right onto the nose cone in real life, so definitely an interesting style of raccoon mask. Moving on, you have the Aeroflyer titles, and then you have the KF Aerospace logo right here on the engines. Now KF Aerospace generally does maintenance and cargo operations, but this is their venture into the uh, charter airline business. They did start up an airline called Greyhound Air. It was a budget airline back in the 90s, and yeah. So now let's move on, you have the windows, the single exit door, the Wi-Fi box up here. Uh, you have the registration, Charlie, Golf, Kila, Foxtrot, Papa. Now, that's the same registration that is at Calgary. They have two aircraft, one based in Calgary and one based in Kelowna. And this is a Calgary-based one. So I've seen this aircraft on several occasions in real life already. There you have the Canadian flag back here, and there you have the design pattern that takes up the tail. Now, I saw a video of how they put this livery together in real life and it appears to be mostly decals, so that's interesting. And then uh, this aircraft in my airports will be used for general charter operations and they have been chartering for both Swoop and Air North, so I could use this aircraft as stand-in aircraft for that. However, I'll likely use it as a stand-in for Air North as no Air North model has been made in one to 400 scale. But yeah, I think NG models, when it comes down to the 737-600 mold, have absolutely perfected it. Their 737 mold has always been very good when it comes to the nose shape, the CFM engines, and the rear of the aircraft. I know lots of detail work was put into making this mold. This mold was released after their 700 and 900 molds. So yeah, they've definitely done the wings well. They've done the rear quite well as well. And I think that this is an incredible addition to my collection, and I'm definitely glad to have another 737-600. Now when it comes to a general score on the model, I'll just be scoring models from now on from a scale of 1 to 10, nothing super complex. This model definitely gets a 10. Uh, first of all, I think NG Models has done a great job on the colors. NG Models sometimes has a tendency to do their colors too vibrant, but I really think they've perfected their uh, coloring, and I've noticed it hasn't been as much of an issue on some of their more recent models. Second of all is the mold. As I've already discussed, the NG Model 737 mold is very close to perfect. This is definitely the best mold for the 737 in 1 to 400 period, and definitely the best mold for the 737-600, although Panda's mold is definitely okay. So and yeah, I highly recommend you buy this model if uh, you are a Canadian collector or are just looking for a cool looking 737-600 to add to your collection. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, hope to see you guys back next time.